So, can I start by asking, what's the significance of your band title? Uh, yeah, well, our uh, cellist right here, Nikki, she's, um, she's her great, great, great aunt was supposedly Anastasia Romanov, who was the Tsarina of Nicholas II of Russia, the last Tsar of Russia in World War One, and when they were killed, supposedly Anastasia got away, and that is Nikki's aunt, so she's our, our little darling Tsar. I'm a chirp. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless. Salute. Yeah. Salute. You, you like Salute. didn't just make that up. That's actually. No, that's that's, that's so awesome. true. I, I, I've, <laughs> I've never been more serious about anything in my entire life. Okay. <laughs> um, so how long have you guys been together? Could you talk a bit about you know when you formed and your origins? Well, let me tell you something right now. We formed in two thousand and two. That is twelve years ago. We had a different name back then, and uh, it was just us four guys here. Yeah, yeah it's just, just the four, about four a fellows ago. here. Yeah, and um, yeah. Uh, when did they join the group? Uh, well, let me tell you something real quick. Brittany, <laughs> <laughs> Brittany joined in two thousand and seven, and Nikki joined in two thousand and thirteen. Yeah. 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 Hey guys, where are we going right now? Taco Bells. Why are we going to Taco Bell in middle of band practice? Food runs. Uh, this is part of band practice. <laughs> this is the be this is the most integral part of band practice. We just close the quiz runs by ourselves. So. Uh, our dad also <laughs> is in a band and. Uh, he plays guitar and writes songs and sings. So. Now my dad is also in a band, the same band. And he plays bass. Yeah, in the same band as our dad. Yeah, which is also our. So it's we're following in their footsteps. Where are you guys from? I was born in Poughkeepsie. I've lived here my entire life. So. Yeah, I lived in the Bronx for about five years. No. Four of us are from the Bronx originally. Uh, me and my brother here were from Pleasant Valley. Uh, it's not that pleasant. It's okay. It's a valley. It's a valley. These two uh, fellers from Brewster, New York. The Brewster Rooster. Mm -hmm. You from Brewster? Yeah. So, um, you guys describe yourselves as indie rock and baroque pop. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm getting that right, right? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, baroque so pop, chamber pop. Could you explain what that is? I actually can. Um, it's often used interchangeably with chamber pop, chamber pop rock. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a pop rock music subgenre which originated in the United States and the United Kingdom. Uh, let's see, it's a fusion of pop rock and classical music, particularly of the Baroque period. Yeah, it's played in chambers, basically. That's what it's chamber. Yeah, that's where it's we chamber. come. And we, yeah. <laughs> You have to play it strings. candlelight, you know? Candlelight. Yep, got to set music like and strings. And yeah. Yep. Scented candles. <laughs> How do you uh, manage to organize yourselves and collaborate on, um, you know, meeting up each week and also collaborating on writing and playing and stuff? It's a little tricky because we all have, you know, jobs and stuff and yeah. getting seven people's <laughs> schedules to work is, uh, you know. It's awful. Really it's, it's, it's awful. There are seven of us. Yeah, there's yeah. always one there's person there's missing from a band practice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Any kind a good of example band. is how our bass player is, is not, not here. Right yeah, now. yeah. So. I heard you guys have a um, special drummer and bassist relationship. Yeah. You're always playing next to each other. How was that? Just the uh, proximity of us on the stage. Yeah. We actually just took a pee in a onesie bathroom together. Yeah. That's how special our relationship is. <laughs> nice. Not that kind of special though. Not that we don't. And there wasn't yeah. even a wall, there wasn't even a wall dividing us. Yeah. You guys uh, crack jokes on stage and such with uh, each other. Oh, uh, well, like our, it's more so uh, longing gestures. Okay. <laughs> uh, That's like true. like weird gestures that we show. Like I'll make weird faces at him. Like. <laughs> How do you get your inspiration? What do each of you write your songs about? Um, I like to write about uh, people with scoliosis. Almost every single one of my songs I write about have a mention of somebody's curve in his spine and getting old in this, in this new world. Flying wings to mom. Excuse me. Hey, I've converted. Uh, I like writing songs about memories I think I should have but don't have. 
I also. This kind of goes along with his thing, but time is also a big theme in my songs, just in general. Uh, I like to write songs about like nostalgia and uh, stuff like that. I almost always write about dreams and uh, human relationships. So it's a good topic. We also went through a period where we wrote songs about things that just made absolutely no sense. Yeah, yeah, almost really a lot of animals. A lot of animals, animals are wrong. Wrong. LP. It's called Hoot. Ten tentatively titled Hoot. Like an owl's hoot. 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 <laughs> we got uh, we, it's gonna be about ten or eleven songs. Probably eleven. Probably eleven songs. Eleven. But uh, you know, it's been a process because we're you know, we all have jobs. And, it's a lot uh, of people. We all have kids. A lot of people, a lot the of people. guy we were, the guy we're recording with, Gary Youngquist, is a beautiful man. And he's uh very busy man. He's a very busy man. He's a Where's beautiful big busy trousers? man. And uh, he's a friend. Big God trousers bless. A friend. studios God bless. represent. Yeah. Hey, I'm Gary Lundquist. This is my uh, little studio. This is uh, the hardest studio on my computer. Running out Pro Tools. <laughs> yeah, I was working as an assistant engineer down at Pauling Studios. It's Cohen by Daryl Hall. We were doing. It was kind of my first real gig, and it was uh, Ian Hunter and the Ramp Band. Ian Hunter's from uh, Mount the Hoople, so they were pretty big back in the 70s. And uh, he, we're in the control room, and I hear, Gary, Gary, where's Gary Big Trousers? <laughs> so, being that it was like my first big project, and I was kind of, thought that it was kind of funny and fitting for the name of my studio. What's the best part about performing live? I guess the performing live factor of it, right? No. It's really fun. Live. Probably the free beer. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 free beer. <laughs> it's, just, no. it's just always a fun time. Just hanging like, out with I all like, your friends and being stupid and drinking beer. It's just and fun. really fun. Yeah. Playing music that you love to play. I like to look out into the crowd <laughs> and just stare at people's chub. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I focus on when I'm playing. So yeah. I can never see anything. I always that's my zen my spot. Off. I, as, as I mentioned before, I just stared at the shoes. So. <laughs> I look right at the chub. It's fun. We have a really fun time. Yeah. Some bands are yeah. shoegaze, we're chub <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One I time it's... I lifted up my entire drum set and threw it on a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. She's okay. She's, <laughs> She's alright. She made it. Just saying. Time. Just saying. <laughs> I've said like sing, one line, but like, can you turn the violin and jello up? Yeah, and That's we were like, hey Mike, can you tell them to turn us up? Yeah, and yeah. Nikki pokes but, uh, me with her bow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <she's> like, <laughs> I don't even have Mike, so. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, we, we have a really great, of whenever stuff goes wrong or we have to wait for someone to tune up or something, we these guys have a really great way of uh, stalling for time. Uh, okay. The best thing that was ever said at a concert was right before one of Bob's songs, Mike went. <laughs> <laughs> My brother wrote this song, so shut up. <laughs> yeah, that was the best. Uh, I was dying laughing, but everyone was like dead quiet. And, yeah, like, there was no response yeah. whatsoever. They thought Always I actually wanted brother. them to yeah. shut the fuck up. It was great. That was probably right the there. best thing. That's what this band's all about. Yeah, you know, if I could do it better. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that one. Um, what's the best part about kind of being where you're at right now, kind of transitioning from, I guess, a small band to one that's, you know, getting recognized on a larger scale? 
Uh, it's kind of like, no, it's kind of like just get to the full recognition because it's like, just you know, like <laughs> it's too much work. Like I mean, we were, we're, we're all wishing we were just fully recognized right yeah, now. Yeah, just, yeah. We can make a living off this, so we don't have to do our day jobs. So you guys got plans for the future? What's next? We're trying to we're trying to get our hands on a manager, some management. Maybe it's hopefully get signed. Yeah. No, we're, we're, trying. We're, we're trying to go all the way. We, with this we gotta get the album done first. That's the main thing. Playing more shows in the city. Maybe do a little tour. Hi. Where darlings are. You can find our music on Spotify, iTunes, <laughs> uh, Bandcamp, <laughs> SoundCloud, Facebook. <laughs> Bird with a human head. So I wrote this song. <laughs> 